Hello again everyone, and today we have more crap on the bench. Um, I want to kind of do some more modifications to this WPL C24. Um, it's got to the point now where I think I've reached the limit of the original motor. It works perfectly fine except the motor just cannot keep up and there's steering arm bits. Uh, but I got some things that I just want to try extra bits, so um, as with my big truck, I have filled the wheel full of weight, so the new wheel are new wheels are 40 grams, the old ones are 28. So I've added 12 grams of weight. Now there's not much space in there. I've done that by adding a brass strip around the inside. It's not a massive amount of weight, but it should help keep the front over. Another thing I want to do is line the front bumper full of lead as well. So you've got some lead strip up here, but I want to add an extra bit of brass inside there. So that the weight is over the front rather than over the rear. The rear is quite nice and light. The front has got definitely a bit more weight. I have got a new motor on order. I've got a new speed control on order. I've got a new servo in the box in there and a new receiver. So when they come, I'll be redoing all the electrics. But for now, I'm going to keep it like this. I also have gone out and bought a number of different pieces of stock. So we've got brass, alley, U-section, flat bar. I've also got uh, a number of 4mm solid. This is just an off cut so you can see what I'm going to be working with and my attempt is using these spare wheels. I've taken the weights, uh, the wheels that were originally on the car after replacing them with the weighted ones. I'm going to add the tyres that I got with the spare set of wheels for a couple of quid and we're going to build a trailer using this. So I've got a scale trailer on a scale truck. So for now I'm going to crack on get this bit done, add a tow bar to the back, and then once I've done that, I'll show you I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so I've changed the front wheels, I've put the lead weights in there, I've also added lead weights in the front, and added the tow bar on the back. Now if I whip the body off, like this, soldered up this nice and simple system, it's just a nut soldered onto a piece of 5mm tube with some bits soldered to it again to create the little hook that you need for a tow bar and then that's bolted through there aluminium edging that i've drilled a couple of holes in bent a couple of 90s sits up there sits underneath the chassis so you can't see it and it attaches the trailer to the chassis not the plastic i've seen a lot of people fit tow bars under here i didn't think it was a good idea so i fitted it here it's nice and strong does what it needs to do on top of that, I've added a load of weights inside the bumper. I didn't use brass, I used the iron weights much quicker. So now I'm going to crack on and build a trailer. And then I will get back to you once I have an outline of what I plan to do. So following on from building the little tow hitch on the back of the wagon, I've started to make the trailer. I've taken some U-section and some flat bar and I've soldered them in a square section with an additional bar coming off the front using a brass screw and a brass nut to create a threaded section which I can then fit on a rose joint. This rose joint will then sit lovely on the tow hitch and I can add my wheels and therefore I have a trailer, a base of a trailer to build something off. Now my plan for the wheels is to just run a simple bit of 4mm bar run through the centre with some collets on the end to hold the wheels on and just use the internal wheels as almost like a bearing which won't work very well because they do have a hex inside. So I'm going to have a play with that and work out a way of trying to make the wheels roll on the chassis of the trailer and then I'll go from there. So here we have the finished trailer. <clears throat> Nothing spectacular, just a few pieces of brass U-section soldered to the flat bar, <clears throat> another U-section there with the ball joint attached with that screw and nut. 
we then taken a 5mm hollow piece of brass, put a 4mm solid brass tube through it with the wheels, collets and some washers. Uh, sits on there nicely, it's roughly the correct height, once it's moving it will settle down. Now I'm not sure what I want to put on here, whether it be a box or if I buy a, I'm looking at buying a 16th scale model jet ski, so I might put rails on there to sit the jet ski on. But for now, what I'm thinking of cutting a box, one of these plastic Tupperware boxes, and that fits perfectly on there, so I could, if it wasn't full of rubbish, I could fit that on there like that. Cut around here to the top so it's just open, put some mesh over the top, and I could have like a, a mini U Haul trailer like you get in America. Um, or cut it here a little bit lower and have it like a trailer we'd have in the UK. Um, most trailers in the UK are only sort of this high when you're following a 4x4, whereas in America you see all the U Haul stuff. So, yeah, pretty easy to build. So I used spare wheels, but I could have used model aeroplane wheels, they're pretty easy to use. The tow bar on the back is pretty solid, it's all brass soldered into a nut with a threaded section on there for everything to sit on. And again I could remove this and put a smaller nut on there to sit that lower, or I could make a swan neck there or all sorts, but for now all I wanted was a very basic trailer, it's the same wheelbase. It looks a little bit daft because the wheels are bigger, the tyre diameter is bigger than that on the truck. But it'll work for now. Hopefully, the next time you see this truck, it'll have the much bigger motor in it. So it'll be able to actually go somewhere. And I'll have the trailer, I'll have something on the trailer, whether it be a, a model jet ski or a box or whatever. So thank you for watching this quick video on building the trailer and a quick update on my C24 with all the modifications and bits. Um, I've got a few more videos in the works at the moment, so I will add some more as and when I get time, including the canyon. I've got the canyon done now, and I'll take that out tomorrow and film the rest of that video. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you on another video.